So for today, we're going to be looking at the mecha set for the hunters. If you guys don't, we've already reviewed the armor and the shaders as well. You guys can see them right here. Basically, look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and overall, pretty good video in my opinion. And then the shader video, it's just all of these shaders that I currently own on all of the classes with the new armor. So if you guys are interested to see how it shaders, definitely go check that video out. We are going to be looking at all of the individual pieces for the hunters aside from one set it will have two that's how i usually do it so that way it's fair to the titans and warlocks because sometimes i i just won't make a set with a bond or with just a mark so that's why i started combining two pieces it for one set so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really would appreciate it because a lot of people are not subscribed when they come into the into my channel so again like commenting subbing all that really does help me and motivates me to make more content for y'all so I would appreciate it. Other than that, let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the machined skirmisher mask. This is a dope helmet in this set. I usually don't like this helmet usually, but I do think it looks really cool with the cowboy look, especially for the theme that I'm going for. I'm going for a specific like cowboy meets like Android theme. And I do think it looks really, really cool for the arms interlaced grips is what we're using starfire's vest for the chest piece the deep pockets ornament for the lucky pants and then the tm erp custom cloaked stetson for the cloak for the shader we're using venomous just because uh a i like the green eyes i think that looks really cool but also because the venomous has like like a snake skin on it and i mean that looks really cool with a cowboy look so a few things to know, I, I am unfortunately using two pieces from old season passes, specifically the interlaced grips is from season of the splicer and then Starfarer's vest is from season of the plunder. So I know some people might tell me, oh, well, I don't have the interlaced grips or I don't have the Starfarer's vest. Now, the really cool thing is there are some pieces you can switch out for. Like for me, I would probably switch out the interlaced grips for the deep stone crypt arms. I think those would be fine. Uh, the Starfarer's vest, honestly, just put on the TM Erp cust uh, custom chest piece. That's going to be good because it literally goes with it. But if you don't want to use that, there's other pieces that you could use. You just have to make sure that the custom cloaked Stetson, the collar goes with the chest piece, which is why I like Starfarer's vest because it does go with the chest, with the, uh, with the collar. So just, just be aware of that. Other than that, I mean, the main focus that you're going to want to do is just the fact that the arms have to be like electrical or have wires in there, or just give a sign of like a cyborg. Or if not, if you just want to have the helmet, then you can just do like cowboy arms and chest piece. And that'll be cool too. As for the next set, we're going to be using blight ranger with Olmstead's downfall ornament on it. And this one is the one where I'm like, it looks cool. I just wish the pieces were better. So for this one, the machine skirmisher sleeves and strides is what we're using for this one. Eternal Vengeance chest piece for the chest piece and then the Moonfang X7 cloak. Now, get used to Eternal Vengeance because we're going to reuse it again, but in a much better set. And for this one, we use Eagle Maligan for the shader just because A, I genuinely like this shader, but B, I really like how it looks on this armor set specifically just because it makes it look way cooler than it has any right to look honestly again i just don't like the boots and the arms i think they're just really really bad it's the asymmetry of it just makes it even worse and there's just too much leather on a mecha themed armor set so i definitely think this is cool and i know some people might actually like this a lot more than some of the, my other sets but i personally just don't really like it just because again it's the arms and the boots. If you switch out the arms and the boots for something else, this set would actually look really cool because I do think the Olmstead's downfall looks really cool with this. Gives it that like, almost like, like a boss face. That's what I think from Olmstead's downfall. It kind of reminds me of like, like Portal uh, 2's boss, the last boss, I forget her name. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of that, like that silhouette of like just mechanical monster. So that's why I combine it with this set because I do think this set needs all the help it can get. As for the next set, I actually do think this one is super, super cool. I know some people might not like that I'm using Omnicronia as a shader, but I will explain why I'm using it. So for the helmet, Sun Apex Max Mask is what we're using. Moonfang X7 grips because of all of the sharpness, especially with the Eternal Vengeance cloak. There's so many sharp pieces that I, I thought the Moonfangs was going to look really cool with it. For the chest piece, machine skirmisher vest is what we're using. And then for the boots, we're using stompies with the Astro Sides ornament. So 
There's a few things to note about this one. A, the reason I'm using Omnicronia is because Moonfang X7 unfortunately takes shaders differently. So like each of the arms just takes a different color, which is unfortunate, which is why I'm using Omnicronia. You could definitely use other shaders like specifically, like specifically Dreaming Spectrum. Dreaming Spectrum will combine all of the armor pieces to one full color as well. And then there is the silver one that they botched. So there's no even point to mention it. But if you are interested in it, it is the Argent Territory. And that's a pretty good shader. But again, there is a lot of red there, which they it didn't have before. So I just chose Omnicronia just because it was going to be the easiest choice. And I actually think this one looks really, really cool. Very terrifying, in my opinion, just because a lot of the sharp bits to it and the helmet has that slit of fire in there too yeah, overall i think this set is a banger if i were to switch any piece it probably would be the stompies honestly um just because the cloth color is completely different to all of the other cloth pieces so i probably would just switch out the stompies for something else overall i do think this looks really cool let me know what you guys think about this one and then last but not least we're going to be using the cloak for this one and i actually think this might be my favorite just because each of the pieces just go so well with each other so the helmet we're going to be using Scare and Corvus Mask, which is funny considering this is from Festival of the Lost as well. I don't remember which particular year it was, but it is an old one. We're going to be using the Wrong Hands ornament for the Atheris's Embrace. I definitely think this is a really cool ornament, especially when you go into like a mecha theme because that's kind of like the shtick of it. For the chest piece Eternal Vengeance, like I said, we we're going to be reusing that. But for the boots, Interlace Strides, we're going to be using just because I think it looks really cool. And then again, Machine Skirmish Show Cloak is where we're using. So I actually really like this set. For the shader, we're using Iron to Steel. I actually did switch out the helmet and the cloak or the shader for something else. And I do think it looks cool. I'll probably have a picture of it right now if you guys are interested. But I definitely think the, the blue and white one looks way better. Not saying the Iron to Steel shader is bad. I actually love it. It's one of my favorite shaders. It's just that the blue and white one gives off more of a Gundam look than the Iron to Steel. But overall, I think this set is probably the best aside from maybe the Stompy set. And oh, no, actually, the Cowboy set, I have to say, is just my favorite for sure. I don't know. Three th three of these are my favorite and one of them just looks terrible. That being said, I think it's just the boots and the arms that you would have to switch out. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.